hello guys welcome to the first part of this project um just as i've said in the introductory part uh this video is going to be broken down i mean this project is going to be broken down into nine parts and here in the first part we are only creating a new integration service project and uh even this is your first time this project is so beginner friendly such that you only need to follow these steps here detail by detail and you're going to create your first etl project so here everything is being outlined here for us if you look at this irrespective of any kind of machine you are using you just have to go to the start menu bar and search for the uh, this software here this visual studio and launch it and we are asked to launch it and uh we are all of this is the processes and change the name of the folder as well as rename the package to this lesson one here so let's see how we can do that in a more practical way so uh, my machine might be slow uh, depending on the speed of your machine uh, as for mine here i've already pinned this here so i'm um, we might need to skip all of these other processes here uh during the process of installation i actually pin it to the toolbar i actually love seeing all of my software on the tool on the tax bar here so so i just easily pick any one i want so i'm going to right click it and actually launch it as as an administrator so that every other services that i need will be loaded so let's hold on for it to load so and uh, here it is coming up but uh, before it comes up let's come back here and read this step by step let's assume you are not uh using the same machine as mine or maybe you're kind of you just installed everything on your machine and uh, this is a new project for you so all you do is on your start menu search for this particular visual studio here don't add the version just search for the visual studio here you you definitely have one visual studio on your machine so it will be the only one to come up so in the visual studio select file new project to create a new integration service project so <coughs> you say in the new project that di uh, dialog box expand the business intelligence node under install and select integration service project in the in the template pan then in the name box change the default name to ssi tutorial to use uh a folder that already exists or and also clear the directory for solution checkbox just follow all the process here and you're, and you're going to get to this place we are here but if you already pin this here all you need to do is just come here right click and run as administrator and it will take you directly to this place here and here are some recent projects that i've already done so uh let's let me remove this i don't need it anymore so um all you need to do here is create a new project so if i create all this new project here and it's going to take me uh to this particular part here this part this part that say we should in the name box we should change the default name to this so we change the default name to this here so let's just copy this and then let's come to this uh part here so before that we are asked to select this we have to select this we are supposed to select uh this integration service project here so uh let me show you guys something real quick so here you can see this is these are all the whole uh services that i've installed from the extension uh tool bar in the visual studio from the if if you haven't watched it, watch the introductory uh, the introductory part then i'll advise you to go and watch it so here I've already used this integration service project. That's why this is appearing here as a recent recent project template. But if if you don't see this here, or if you haven't done the project on the uh, exercise before, and you have already installed all your services, such as the reporting services, the analytics service, and the uh, integration service, all you do is just come here and uh, look for this integration service uh, project here. There are actually two. We have the integration service project and the integration service import project wizard so actually click on this here this etl this extract transform and load once you you click on it click on next so click on next so once you click on next, it will bring you to this part here we say we should name in the name box we should change it to this so we have already copied that so i'm going to come back here and uh change the name to this and uh we are also advised to clear this let's use the same name so let's use the same name so here you can see this is the directory where everything is being created on my system if i come back here now 
if i come come back to my local dicks here now i'll click on users then i'll go to my system name which is shade ranking my nickname so and i'll look for a particular folder called sources sources so when i click on sources uh it will open this repo here and this is where i've created all my files here so once i create that file it's going to appear here so let's go ahead and load it so this is where we create it in shade ranking sources then this so i'm going to hit the create button it's going to load all of those integration service uh packages for us and um visual studio uh window is going to come up so let's hold on for it so it's coming up now everything is coming up now so let's come back here and see so here you can see our folder has already been created automatically and everything that we're doing is going to be loading in here so that's how that is being done so uh if you launch your visual studio and it is not looking like mine because here you can see mine is looking dark i don't know i like black it's my favorite color so uh what i'm going to do here is you come to this uh tools here am i right yes then go to teams click on teams and you can change to any team that you want at all so um before we continue if you haven't uh subscribed to my youtube channel uh please hit the subscribe button so you can be watching amazing content like this so uh here you can see we have created we have created a project name and changed it and also uh everything has loaded perfectly well so let's go and check our steps and see what we need to do next so we have actually done that i say by default an empty package titled this is created and added to your project under exercise uh packages so you see that is very very true if i come back here and open this now you will see uh here is the package it's named package.dtxx are you seeing it so uh what we need to do is let's add i want us to follow these steps so that even though this is your first time you're going to follow it uh accordingly as i would do this so it say in the solution explorer when i click on this and select rename and rename it to lesson one dot dtx so um let's come here let's come back here so one thing you should keep in mind when renaming these packages is uh it doesn't take space if i should if i should name this if i should, if I should name this now lesson one and you see that it will, it will pop an error and the error is because there's a, there's a space the one thing you should know is uh this uh software here actually generates a lot of errors and sometimes it may not even give you a clue on how to solve it so you have to be very very careful when doing things so and the reason why there's an error here is because there's a space so once you right click on rename make sure you click your backspace until it gets to the end before you you type any name there i want to call it uh how did this spell lesson oh my god I always this is always happening to me i don't know <laughs> so uh let's see one dtx and there you can see it's going to ask us to load everything into this particular uh, new name here I and mean, everything has been loaded perfectly okay and that being done you have created a project folder you have created a new integration service project folder and that'll be all for this uh particular part of the video i don't want to bore you guys with a very long boring video uh, you can go take a a cup of coffee stretch your legs come back and let's jump right into this uh second video and remember if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please feel free to hit the subscribe button and also share this video to your friends uh thank you for watching stay blessed see you in the second part